Well, I'm having great fun with this um, circuit here. Um, I tried the uh, low power 555 timer chip in it and played around with that. And it works great with the LED circuits. It, it goes way on down to about 2 or 3 milliamps, if you can imagine that. And uh, it's quite something. But the minute I put it on the big boy here, it blew it right out. And um, Paul has mentioned the same thing, that they don't tolerate uh, any large power at all. So anyway, I went back to playing with the other setup here. And I'm having lots and lots of fun here. And uh, I've got this running at uh, 160 milliamps. It's up about 10 volts, I guess, right now. I'm holding um, 33 volts on the capacitor with that bulb lit up right there. You see that bulb's lit up. And I've got a smaller CFL running here that uh, we've been watching real carefully because it puts out a lot of light. And rather than use the bigger tube, um, I found out that just use a smaller light, everything runs a little bit better, and, and you get quite a bit of light out of it. So the other thing I was playing around with was... Um, Slayer had mentioned in his video and posting that you could take a piece of aluminum foil and wrap it around the toroid and uh, get induction off of it. And it does work. You can um, see this neon light up when I touch it here. And uh, that's induction coming off of the high voltage uh, coil there. And you can even take an LED and uh, hold it up to it and get it to come on. And like I say, that's induction coming off of the secondary, that high voltage, which makes the CFL run right there. And uh, anyway, I've had a lot of fun with this today. This has been great, great fun. And if I turn the uh, um, capacitor off here and let this go on up, I get big light out of that little bulb right there. And there comes the big light. And we like that. Everybody here likes that. And I can get that at uh, 300 to 400 milliamps. And that's that's the big light that I like. I like lots of light. That's a good thing. And look at the, the um, loading on that capacitor. Now the capacitor is not under load right now. It's just uh, voltage sitting on that capacitor. And it comes off of the collector right here, off of the transistor. And it's when this coil collapses, it shoots out a spike of energy, and it's captured going backwards, basically, in the circuit into that big capacitor there. It's about a 100 volt, uh, 1200, 1200, 1300 uh, microfarad capacitor. And I tried the, the charging part of it the other day, and it works just great. Not, not a problem whatsoever. But this idea of using a little bit smaller bulb and just driving it harder, and then you don't have to uh, use quite so much power, I think that's kind of a winner. You know, this is, uh, like I say, going on down. I can get this down to quite, quite a low amperage draw and still have real good light out of the bulb and very good charging on the capacitor. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the latest on this thing. Uh, this circuit is a lot of fun. Um, I hope somebody else has a chance to build one of these things because it's taken the place of the ignition coil when we used to use the ignition coil. And as like I say, it's like an inverter circuit now being uh, pulsed with a 555 timer circuit. And it works quite well. The circuit is posted over at the Energetic Forum on uh, the Big Jewel Thief thread, Slayer's Big Jewel Thief. I'll pan it real slow. Maybe you can pick it up and look and study it here. But uh, that's the instructions on the toroid. Um, there's the uh, driver circuit, the inverted uh, dual feed. By the way, those are 0.047 picofarad caps, little tiny ones. And the reason I'm using uh, uh, big wattage here on this 20 ohm resistor is it gets hot. And uh, um, not too bad the way we're pulsing it, but it does get hot. So that's why I use the high wattage on that resistor. And then this is just a simple 555 timer circuit with a couple of potentiometers to control the pulse width and the frequency. And uh, I'm running this 
at about 8 to 10 volts here is where I'm getting the performance out of it with those numbers you just saw. And like I say, I like this. This is a, this is a pretty good deal here. A lot of fun to play with. The good, uh, good learning experience too.